What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Brilliant Diamond walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a, uh, quite a few things, battled a whole bunch of people, and now it's time to go inside Mount Coronet, like one piece of Mount Coronet. As you can see, look at that. It's a whole bunch of, uh, nothing right here. And, uh, yeah, we're trying to get into the next town right here. Now, if you guys can see, there's going to be a little somebody here waiting for us, and, uh, well, look at that. Holy crud, it has been a while since I've seen you, homeboy. According to Un Theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been mo no strife. But what became of this world? Because the human spirit is weak and inc incomplete, strife has spread. This world is being ruined by it. I find the state of things being deplorable. Oh, damn, okay. Uh, peace? See ya? Okay. Anywho. Uh, yeah, we got a few, uh, you know, I'm gonna go the long way because I can and all that stuff. But as you can see, guys, we really can't do much except for just using Rock Smash and whatnot. And yes, I forgot to, uh, you know, edit this one out right here because, well, you know, we did a lot of edits two episodes ago and I was too mad about it. Okay? Very, very mad about it. Okay, so, enough intimidation, Hydra. Let's GTFO, because we need to get this thing going right here. Okay, so, let's go inside, or outside, and here we go. We are in Route 208, and as you can see, we are going to be battling quite a few trainers right here. So let's go ahead and get ready to do so. Like, uh, let's go ahead and use, uh, you know, let's go ahead and use Rosemont for once. We've been using it for quite some time, finally evolved it. And now we need we need a stone for that thing right there, okay? Yeah, just a stone and then get it to just do a rose raid. Not that hard, probably. I don't know. Anywho, here we go. We're gonna be taking on Robert the Hiker, and he's gonna be coming out with his Geo Dude. And well, your good old boy Draven right here is gonna come out with Rosemond. Ready to go. Look at that. Who'd ever thought that uh, you you see Draven use a Rosemond or use a Rose Raid? But uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And well, look at that. Geodude has been defeated, and, oh, well, look at that. We, we, we healed up right away. Say goodbye to Geodude. Oh, yes, and, well, let's see. He's about to come out with another Geodude, so let's just continue on right here. Anywho, as I am recording this, guys, it is Christmas Day, so Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys. Merry belated Christmas for uh, all of you guys who are just watching this or whenever I upload this and all that stuff. Yeah, Merry belated Christmas. Um, What am I doing right now? Well... <laughs> Your boy Draven, he may or may have not, uh, he may or may have not, uh, uh, went out with his, uh, brother and sister, may or may have not have a few adult drinks and all that stuff with them, and may or may have not got stuck, uh, what was it, babysitting the nieces and nephews, probably because, you know, the boy here does not have a kid yet, not yet, <laughs> but yes, I woke up. I woke up, uh, well, actually, I took advantage of the whole, uh, Christmas thing and just slept in. I mean, I just slept in, didn't really get a lot of presents, which is fine. It's fine. But still, it was a, it, it still was a fun day. Fun, uh, fun, fun time. So if you guys want to talk about your Christmas, comment down below. Let me know what you guys did for Christmas, what you get, and all that stuff. I know that my cousin, no, not my cousin, I mean my niece, my eldest niece, got herself Pokemon Brilliant Diamond as well, so, yeah, she is gonna... In a little bit, he's gonna be asking for the. Uh, he's going to be asking for the the, the, the friend code and all that stuff. So I, uh, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Anywho, let's go back and kick some butt right here. As you can probably tell, we got Pennywise using the hex, and yes, hex does it. Say goodbye to Machop. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, alrighty. And Infernomon growing levels like crazy right here. And well, there we go with Black Belt Kyle, and he bows to us. I still like power. Looks like Bruce Lee just a little bit. Alrighty, let's go down and grab this item right here. We got ourselves an X speed, which could prove useful. Now we don't have the or the the hidden machine for that one, but let's go ahead and move on right here. Whoever thought of rock climb is a uh, whoever thought of rock climb dumb, really really dumb. How is that seriously? How is that even an HM or a move? I don't know. So here we go, Jonathan coming out with his Onyx right here, and well, let's go right ahead and just go with Pennywise yet again, and use some special attacks. Let's go straight for a Shadow Ball. Let's go straight for a Shadow Ball, and here we 
go. Dark Kamehameha for the win. Look at that. Okay. And, well, <laughs> I guess SmackDown still works on us. It does in a, in a big way because, yes, it is a, it is a flying-type Pokemon. So let's go straight again with another Shadow Ball. Hopefully we don't get hit with any, like, ground-type moves now that SmackDown's got us. And because of that, Onyx has been defeated. Mm -hmm. There we go. All righty. Okay. So there goes Hiker Jonathan. I'm feeling very, very pleased right here. Okay, alrighty, so let's go ahead and move on right here. Now that we got the Rock Smash technique, might as well break these things and grab ourselves, uh, grab ourselves that Pokeball right there. Let's grab this. Look at that, it was actually a Pokeball. A Pokeball. <laughs> okay, uh, well, you were in the grass. Now, we're going to be finding some interesting Pokemon, and do I need to get bothered by Pokemon right now? I don't. We've already figured this one out. Where the heck is it? Okay, there we go. We've gotten uh, quite a few repels. And uh, let's go right ahead and grab an item right here. Here we have honey. Yes, honey, honey, honey. And let's see. I wonder what you can, what you can do with honey. Let's see, sweet scent in the air. Yes, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that. So we slab some honey. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait a little bit for that. And then we have an individual right here. Don't say a word. Just take it. We get ourselves an odd keystone, which you guys probably already know. Uh, yeah, there is a grand under or go head to the grand underground. Listen to the stone pillar. Talk to Spelunkers. Huh. Again, good old Draven does not follow directions correctly, but we'll take we'll keep that in mind. And well, let's go ahead and start switching out our Pokemon. Let's go for Ultra Psycho right here, and let's go ahead and start wrecking some people, wrecking them, taking their souls to the Shadow Realm. Gattaca. Okay, so here we go. Hannah wants to battle us, and we will be coming uh, up against a Combi. Now, I can always trade a Combi from uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield to here just to make it easier on me, but I don't know how that will work. Right? Like, I don't know. Probably, huh? Hey, let's go right here. Let's go Psycho Cut. And Psycho Cut does its thing, finishing him off. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> And whoa, we're almost growing levels. And here comes a Groselia. So let's go straight to Infernomon. Let's go right ahead and uh, take care of business with the, the starter Pokemon himself. Look at this guy. Ooh, blue flames. Blue flames and everything. And well, let's see what Groselia has. Uh, nothing. Well, let's go with a flame wheel right here. And there we go. Flame wheel does it. And well, unfortunately, we get a poison point wheel. We had that coming. We really do. And, well, Roselli has fainted. And just like that, Rosemont grows to level 26, which is pretty dang good. And Hannah has been defeated. Look at her. She's, like, beaten. Yes, she was. Okay. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon because, uh, yeah, we kind of don't need that stuff right now. Uh, let's see. Let's go with an Antidote. And there we go. Let's go right ahead and grab these little nan -na berries. You gots to love the Nanab berries. Alrighty, and then what else right here? The raspberries. The raspberries. Okay, and then right here. And then we got peanut berries. And okay, I, I didn't want to skip that. Two blood berries. And there we go. Okay, so let's go right here. And well, here we have the berry master's house. So let's go right in and see what. But the Berry Master will give us, because you know, it says three berries inside. And I'm assuming it's this wise guy right here. Everyone seems to call me the Berry Master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how to want, how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. And we get ourselves a Greppa Berry. And are we getting another one? No, we're not getting another one. Okay, yeah. Uh, as many of you guys already know, I do not... Uh, <laughs> I do not plant any berries. Now, as you can see right here, you can actually buy berries from this lady right here. Um, and these are typical berries that you would find everywhere else. And I guess she sells them one by one. Yeah, she's selling them one by one for 80 Pokebucks. And there we go, Chesto Berry. You know, I can't, can't leave out the, the, the whole thing right here. The Pekka Berry or Pecha Pecha Berry. And then what else? The Aspear As Berry or Aspear. Don't even know, but let's go right ahead and talk to this girl. And she's like, are you are you the forgetful type who loses track of where berries are planted? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, I thought so, and I'm the same way. 
The tell map shows you where, the, where there are ripe berries that are ready to be picked. You don't say. How? How? Let me see. I gotta take this. I, I, I gotta take a look at this right here. All right, let's go back right here. Let's go to the town. Where's the town map? Okay, the town map. Let's see. Let's see. Right here. Town map. Town map. Where the heck are you? Town map. Where are you? Town. Map. Okay, I don't. I don't think I have a town map here. Good gravy. <laughs> it would seem I have to go back to uh, whatever town to get that town map. So. Let's go ahead and battle another trainer right here because we can. Alrighty, here we go. Talent taking on Artist William. And he will be coming out with a Mime Jr. Look at this guy. Look at all Mime Jr. and all that stuff. And here we go. Ultra Psycho ready to kick some butt. And well, let's go right ahead and use a confusion. I know. Psychic versus psychic. That's not gonna it's not gonna work, but mine's stronger. Mine's faster. I don't know if it's buff, I do not know. And, yeah, that one, you see, very weak. So weak. Look at that, he's looking at him and he this. There we go, say goodbye to Mime Jr. Mm-hmm. Okay, so there goes Mime Jr. Poor Mime Jr. Had to, pick, had to get picked on like that. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Bonsley. So, let's go straight for Hydra right here, since, you know, Water-type Pokemon. You got to love that guy. Okay, so here we go. Let's take on another Pokemon right here, and here comes the Bonsly. Bonsly, Bonsly, Bonsly. Is it Bonsly or Bonsly? Comment down below, guys. I, I, I like to butcher some of these names. Some of you guys like to correct me and whatnot. I don't know. Bonsly, Bonsly, you know. I think I have a three-day Pokedex to figure that out. And well, there goes Bonsly, and say goodbye. Look at that, look at that. And well, Hydra grows to level 23. Always nice, and Artist William. Magnificent, I am a glow with inspiration. Are you a glow? Very a glow. Okay, so let's get the heck out of here, and well, here we are in uh, the next route right here, and well, there's this lady, oh wait. No more berries, or no more repels. Here's this lady, if you say Heart Home City, I only say this, Super Contest shows. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. Yeah, not gonna do that. I really don't want to do that. Heart Home or Heart Home City is a great place. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. You don't say. Let's go right ahead and take a look. And here we are, Heart Home City. And uh, what is going on right here? Oh damn! It's a it's it's one of the, it's a bunny rabbit. It's a bunny. Holy crud. Oh, thank goodness that you happened to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Baneary would have could have ran. Baby Baneary, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Super Contest Show judge. Please drop by to the Contest Hall so I can thank you properly. So, pretty much me. Me stepping in front of this guy. Uh, yeah. Yeah, me stepping in front of this guy. Yeah, okay. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's a good way. Okay. Anywho, let's go right ahead and, and start talking to people right here. Here we are in Heart Home City. And, well, let's take a look at this later right here. One, two, step. One, two, flip. And turn. Hmm. Probably the Chancy Dance. And you're a trainer, aren't you? You've got two choices of challenges. Either the gym or the Super Contest Show, right? Uh, for me, it's only one, okay? Because, uh, yeah, I do... I don't ever plan to do that, okay? I never really did. And, well, if you talk to this individual, he's like, I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region. I had been hoping to find a contest hall, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people can kind of very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generously, or and ger generosity to complete to a complete station. Now, may I offer you the courtesy of showing you the contest hall? Sure, let's go right ahead and go to the contest hall. Ah, please follow me. Okay. Alrighty, let's go ahead and follow him. We're walking, as you can see. Look at that, there's a church, there's a steeple. There's a Pokemon Center right there, and uh, would you look at that? The contest hall. This is the contest hall. Please go inside. Okay, let's go ahead and see. Well, hello there. I like your buttons. All four of them. Look at her. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please excuse moi Are you entering the contest show? Oh, enjoy yourself, please. 
Incidentally, Fantina the Heart Home Gym Leader also happens to be a Super Contest Show expert. And you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become much stronger then, and then you may challenge me. Huh. Okay, so we're, we're, we're going to be doing this whole uh, thing again, like in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. Okay, so we're going to go into the contest hall, see what this is all about right here, and well, hello, hello, there's Kiro. Oh, my hero! Mom? Oh, hi, Draven. Wait, no, really, Joanna is Joanna's your mom? So you might be a Super Contest Show star. Oh, I don't know about that. I've never spoken to Draven uh, about my, uh, my about the Super Contest shows. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I needed to thank you earlier. Please take this sticker. And uh, Etheral sticker? What is that? What is that Etheral sticker? Place the sticker on one of your ball capsules before the show. It will land a nice touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a show judge, so come uh, join us for all kinds of fun. If you aren't sure of yourself, we also offer our practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. So my mom's named Joanna, huh? Were you surprised to see me, Draven? I got bored, so I came to Harvard Home for a little vacation. I'm just surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering a Super Contest show? Not dressed that way. It's your Pokemon's time to shine, so you shouldn't be dressed your usual way. Put this in, put this in for a little gladder, uh, glamour, and well, we get ourselves a tuxedo. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy your Super Contest shows, honey. Shows will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Huh. Yeah, too bad we're gonna fail her right here. Uh, let's see, what is this guy doing? You're going to the enter the Super Contest show, but I don't see no pocket case. It could be tough for you to win in a contest shows without one. But if you are determined to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to get some practice in at the counter on the right. Huh. Okay, so yeah, I'm not going to do that. But this is where you're going to do the Super Contest shows, guys. Look at that. Super Contest, yes. Uh, let's see. It's a frame of display photo. Oh, okay. So, uh... It's all up to you guys, whether or not you want me to do Super Contest shows. I mean, I've never really did it, never done it uh, in, in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond or, or, or Shining Pearl. Hell, even in the original games, I've never do, even done them. The only times I've ever done any kind of contest shows is uh, what you would call it in Pokemon Emerald back when uh, I was a little younger. So it's like, yeah, <clears throat> it's a little... It's a little odd, but so comment down below if you guys want to see that. Now, here we are in Heart Home City, in all its glory. Now, there are a few things we need to check out, we should check out. Uh, first is first, I'm going to be healing my Pokemon because that is the way to go. They gotta love us. They have to love us. And, uh, well, there you go. We are, yes, we are good to go right there. And, well, let's talk to this old lady. Hello, do you have a popping case? If you haven't got one, you really must visit the Pokemon Fan Club. Well, thank you for the lead. Okay, so let's go to the Fan Club, I think. I don't know. That's it. Okay, so if you go right here, you talk to this lady. Hiya! Oh, I've seen you somewhere before. Uh, where was it again? Hold on, uh, it'll come to me. Oh yeah, you're the one who was battling those scary looking guys in Jubilife City! I was really curious about you after uh, after that, so I went ahead and uh, did a little research. And then, surprise, surprise, turns out you're connected to the famous Professor Rowan. And you've been going around defeating gym leaders, too. I seriously thought my eyes were uh, going to pop out of my head. Oh, sorry. There I go, running my mouth again. It's me, Beeb. Do you remember me, don't you? I'm the one who gave you those ball capsules. And, hey, you know those uh, Poke boxes, or Pokemon boxes you've been using? In I'm the system administrator of them. Oh, you are. Okay, are you gonna give me something free? My buddy, free, uh, my buddy Phil developed a basic storage system. I just tinkered with it here and there, and it made it easier to use. Anyway, now that you're here in Heart Home City, how about trying out the Super Contest Show? Just be sure to use those stickers of yours, and don't you dare forget. Okay, not going to do that. Not going to do that. Okay, so let's see. What is next? We got Beeb. Let's see, anything else right here? Now, let's go straight up here. We love free stuff, guys. We really do. We love free crap. 
Uh, let's see. Well, now, you're a trainer that makes you both mama and papa to your Pokemon. You know how having a random lady do the get read? It's the same with parenting and da, da, da. Okay, I really don't care. She's just letting me know that I'm a, I'm a parent and all that stuff to my Pokemon and all. Okay, so let's go right ahead and talk to this individual and see if my sisters all get the attention. Not even know no one notices me. Okay. And what about this guy? When I get bigger, I'm going to be a trainer too. The responsibility? Okay. Nobody's gonna give me some free stuff. Come on, man. Come on. Alright, so let's go upstairs and see what we're gonna be doing right here. Alrighty. Okay, so. Let's see, let's see. There's some elderly people right here. They could probably give me something. All my grandchildren are clamoring for Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten up the mood one. Let's see, heart home is kid friendly. Okay, nobody's giving me free stuff. Seriously, a Pokeball! Come on! Anything! And there's the Team Galactic logo there. Huh. What is going on right here? Uh. Oh, wow, it just. It, it suddenly switched. <laughs> okay, so. Gonna do that. There's a. Yeah, gonna do that. There's a. Yeah, I saw that and I was like, I, I wanted to see what, what that was all about. Okay, so there was really nothing in here. Let's go right ahead and find us some more stuff, like, eh, walk with Pokemon, all that crud. And, well, let's see, there's a the Pokemon Gym. Now, if you go into the Pokemon Gym right now, unfortunately, you won't be able to battle the Pokemon Gym Leader. As you can see, the only man that's ever believed in us is right there, and he's going to be like, Hey there, how's it going, trainer? You being here tells me that you're going to challenge a Gym Leader. Well... I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're wondering why, and the answer is, is she's not here. Come back another time, okay? I'll be right here waiting. Okay, so unfortunately we can't battle her right now. We cannot battle her, and uh, that is a shame because I was about to, I was about to uh, whoop that candy ass here and there with my ghost type Pokemon. But I guess we're not strong enough. And well, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Of course, she's talking about the Super Contest shows. What does Homeboy have? Super Contest shows, and he's talking about the Amity Square, where, which we will be getting to in a little bit. And okay, let's go right up. And see what this is all about right here. Let's see, I have something for you to... Oh, look at that, a shell bell, finally! You know, that could have worked early on in our adventure, you know. And look, there's the Team Galactic logo, and... Yeah, we're seeing the Team Galactic logo every single time. It must be something. Okay, so I'm just going to get the heck out of here. So, the Smooth Bell, or the Soothe Bell, you can actually... Uh, you actually... You guys must know, the Soothe Bell makes your Pokemon a lot more friendlier. And it could work for Pokemon who evolve through friend uh, friendship. And uh, well, as many of you guys already know, yeah, I do have uh, quite a few Pokemon that that evolved through friendship. And well, look at this—the Pokemon can the, the contest or not the Pokemon fan club. And well, let's go right ahead. Let's go ahead and talk to the president. I'm pretty sure he's going to have a long story about how much he loves his Pokemon. If only I could fit through here. And hello, hello. How I say, do you do? I am the Pokemon Fan Club Chairman, indeed, yes I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what do I say you do? If you may so so, and I will I will feed Poffins to my Pokemon. And why I say I would I, I would do that? Because the giving of the Poffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Poffin the Pokemon eating, it would become more cute. For example, a, a spicy Poffin will add to the coolness of the Pokemon. In such ways, I say the Poffins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Therefore, I declare this Poffin case to be a gift from me to you. And yes, we got ourselves a Poffin case. Not bad, not bad, okay. And let's see, he's, he's going to be telling us, I urge you to fill the Poffins with generous and dispensing it to your Pokemon. Okay, no problem. It, it, it's not an issue. Okay, so we got a Poffin case. And now, let's see, there really isn't much we could do. What is this? Oh, the Poffin House, not going to go in there because, yeah, that that right there is where you actually make the Poffins. And, well, let's go right here. Let's see what this is all about. It's quiet. It's very, very quiet. It's super quiet. Anywho, this place right here is a church. And you can hear my footsteps. And I think that's Mount Coronet. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. 
And there do I see nature Pokemon in the world. Hmm. It's really quiet. I'm just going to step outside. Because I'm not the religious type and all that stuff. So let's move on right here. And, well, let's go right ahead and go into the Amity Square. Now, if you guys don't know, Amity Square is a place where you can actually walk with your Pokemon. And, well, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with your cute Pokemon. Which Pokemon would you like to take a stroll with? Now, there are only two cute Pokemon that I have right now. Infernomon and Pennywise. I'm going to go with my starter right here. And, uh, okay, you're the Pokemon can go ahead to the Amity Square. Okay, so I got two cute Pokemon right there. Look at that. I'll be waiting for you in the square. Have a great time. Alrighty, so... Look at that. You got... Look at that. Look how he walks. Holy crud. He is a fast Pokemon. Now, where is my... Oh, there he is. And we found ourselves a TM43 Volt Switch. And that right there... What are you doing, buddy? Huh. Pennywise looks a bit lonely. You're never lonely with me, homie. Come on. Follow me. Okay, so now... I don't know exactly what they switched right here. I don't know. Well, there, there's items right here. We can grab this. We, we cannot battle. We cannot battle. So let's go right ahead and grab that. And let's go ahead and talk to these people. And no, that is talking to that guy. And hello! Here you may cook berries and turn them into poppins. Yeah, not doing that. Okay, so yeah, we can cook clean and all that stuff. And uh, well, let's see. I came here with my happini every single day. And I can let it run free without worries at all. So... By going in here, you can actually raise the happiness to your Pokemon and all that stuff. The Pokemon that are, like, you know, cute, considered, or deemed cute. And, well, let's go right ahead and take a look at anything else that we may find right here. You should talk to your Pokemon. It occasionally finds things. Ah, oh, true. Monfernomon. Give me my, my, my thingy. Uh, yeah, it's curious. He wants to swing around to anything. And Drifloom right here is like, okay, you're looking a little bit lonely, man. Come on, you're never lonely with me, and... Well, look at this. Rowan's a long time ago. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta see this. Okay, there's a Drifloom right there. Okay, you're not lonely, man. There's a Drifloom right there. Go play with it. I don't know what to do with there. Okay, I see a Pokeball right there. Let's go ahead and grab this little sucker. We get ourselves a spooky play. And this guy disappeared real quickly. Okay. So... I'm kind of wondering, how do we get through this whole area if this is just for show? Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to try different methods. Nope. Pressing buttons. Nothing. Okay, so there's nothing in here. And if we go right here... Here we have ourselves an amulet coin, which will actually double our, our winnings every single time we battle. And, well, I think that's pretty much it for the Amity Square. I don't know. Probably. Let's go right ahead and go to this area. Now, I want to know how we get to that section. Comment down below, guys. I kind of want to find that, that, find that out about that. And, well, that's pretty much it right there. And... Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again soon. Oh, and wait a minute. Oh, and it looks like uh, the Pokemon that was ta taking a stroll with you wants to go out. Only special trainers can make their Pokemon feel that way. I'm pretty sure you and your Pokemon would be delighted if you let them out of your Pokeballs outside the Amity Square, too. So now we get ourselves the option of uh, getting the Pokemon out of the Am out of our Pokebox. And I'm appalled. They refuse to entry my to my Pokemon. Oh, my poor Gyarados and Steelix. Yeah. Dick move. Dick, dick move. Let's see. Is there anything else that we need to do? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that, Monfertomon is back. He can do things. Look at you. Look at you, homeboy. Uh, now, there's one thing that I kind of want to see. One thing that I want to see right here. Let's see. If you talk to this one, Pikachu. Okay, so we got to go with Pikachu, or we got to go with cute Pokemon. And Okay, so that right there. That right there is that. Now, I do remember something else that we need to find right here. Let's see. Let's go ahead and talk to this individual right here. Uh, GWS. Okay, no. Not right there. And if you talk to this guy, no, not really. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for this episode right here, guys. 
yeah, I think this is pretty much it for the episode, because uh, there really isn't anything else that we can do except just, you know... Oh, this guy. Never mind. So, as you can see, ta-da! You kept me waiting again, Draven. Well, let's see how much stuff you've gotten. I've gotten uh, right here now. Hey, you're a Pokemon trainer. You're expecting to be ready for battle. No whining and no waiting. Let's get the show started. Crap baskets. I hate them. I absolutely hate them. Trust me. So here we go, guys. We're going to finish off this episode with a battle. And yes, we're going to be taking on uh, his Starly. He don't know that I got myself my Ultra Psycho. Get ready to uh, get ready to feel the, uh, the confusion right here. All righty, confusion for the win. Say goodbye to Starly. Yeah, buddy. Okay. He's not feeling good at all. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So here he's going to be coming out with a print club. I got the answer for that. Let's go, Electro Star. Let's do it. Let's get it. Okay, alrighty. So, Electro Star, how you doing? Fruit Club coming out, looking uh, like a big old penguin. And here we have the Intimidate. That way we don't get slapped by Fruit Club. And this guy's like, oh yeah, I'll show you something wicked too. Oh yeah? Eat a spark. Here we go, spark attack for the win. Say goodbye to Primplup. Yeah, buddy. That's right. You don't like that. And Pennywise has grown to level 24. And it wants to learn Stockpile. Now, I'm not a big fan of Stockpile, mainly because it's just like, you know, it, it just... It, well, like it, like it says right here, the user charges up the power and raises both its defense and special defense stats. That move can only be used three times. Now, I'm probably just gonna put uh, Focus Energy but it might learn Swallow or it might learn Spit Out. These are two different moves that can either heal it or, you know, make it, yeah, heal it or, or hurt the other Pokemon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually just take away Payback right here. Eventually I'm gonna teach this Pokemon different moves right here. So there we go, Swallow. That right there is to heal it. Spit Up is more of an attack, so let's see. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and take away Hex. I know, I know, I know. But we are going to teach this Pokemon different moves. Don't worry, guys. It's going to be fine. Okay, so he wants to use a Roselia. Let's go right ahead and use Monferno Mon right here. Get ready to rumble. Get ready to kick some butt. Here we go. Monferno Mon coming out of its uh, blue flames. And, well... Roselia is looking all pretty uh, cool and everything, but guess what? Flame Wheel for the win. Flame Wheel, Flame Wheel, Flame Wheel, and Flame Wheel does it for the win. Say goodbye. Say good freaking bye. And well, this guy's going to be coming out with his Ponyta, so I can evade that with a good old Hydra right here. Now he's going to be surprised with the, the two most rare Pokemon that you know I've gotten so far. Look at that. Plus, the, you know, the legendary Pokemon I got earlier on in, in our adventure. And, well, look at that. Ponyta looking, uh, looking uh, very, very majestic right there. But unfortunately, we're going to have to put it out because, well, here comes the waterfall attack. And, well, we got hit first. But here we go. Waterfall attack for the win. Say goodbye to Ponyta. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Does it feel so good, huh? And Barry has been defeated. <laughs> what just happened? You're telling me I lost? Yeah, you got swept, homeboy. You got swept badly. You got dog washed. Oh, you killed my team again. This messed up my dream of becoming the, uh, the greatest trainer ever. No, I just need to get tougher and keep on winning one day. That's it. I'm going to see, uh, I'm going to challenge the Vile, Vile or the Veilstone Gym next. See you around, Draven. Don't be blown away how much stronger or how much tougher I'll be the next time we meet. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. And then uh, pigs will fly too. Anywho, that was pretty much it for this episode, guys. I am pretty dang sure that there is something else that we need to do right here. Let's see. Heart home. Boyfriend wants to live in Vilestone. Okay. Veilstone. Vilestone. It, it is what it is. Okay, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it right there, guys. In the next episode. We will be, we will be continuing our adventure. Anywho, today's Christmas, the day I'm recording this, so Merry Christmas to every single one of you guys, and a Happy New Year's if this episode comes out on that time. So thank you guys again, I'll see you guys next time.